Hi you guys, Nicole here. I just received some information that was like, it's crazy. Um, a very, very good friend of mine just tagged me in this post. Um, and I do want to say this. I'm not sure if this website um, that I'm looking at right now is... Um, I mean, you know, a reputable site or whatever. But anyway, the information doesn't surprise me. It doesn't shock me at all. Um, given the fact that I am a cosmetologist and I've been in this industry for quite a while, quite some time, before I decided to come home and, you know, be with my family. But I still, you know, I'm still doing what I do. Um... I know of the crazy stuff that can go on, <laughs> you know, in the salons and in the market itself. So this right here doesn't really surprise me at all, regardless of the site. I believe it's true. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to read this, but then I'm also going to post this on my blog. So you can go to my blog at www.ask.com. NicoleRenee.com Okay, so here's the title. Shock as worm-infested weaves from dead people find their way into the market. Nairobi, Kenya. Irene, a personal assistant, um, her last name is here, but I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to butcher her, her last name like that. But um, Irene who was a personal assistant working at a law firm in Nairobi, went to an upmarket hair salon along Kenyatta Avenue and spent more than 5500 on a human hair weave. Okay. Two weeks later, she started suffering from severe headaches that would not go away. She would wake up with severe headaches at night. She went to a private doctor who gave her drugs for the relief of mild to moderate pain of inflammatory origin with or without fever. They would only work for a few hours and then the headaches would be back worse than ever before. Despite, no, desperate, she went to see a specialist who did blood tests 10 and even a brain scan. All these tests were negative, but the headache persisted, making her unable to concentrate at work and sleeping very poorly. She went back to her doctor who decided to examine her scalp, and under the beautiful weave, he found worms. The worms were bur burrowing into her skull, and after sending, sending the samples to the lab, they found that the hair had eggs from which the worms had hatched. Ugh. The doctor told her that the hair was probably from a corpse because those worms are usually found on dead bodies. Efforts to reach her doctor to, for further comments were fruitless for he was said to be out of the country. The manager of the salon where Irene got the hair product was traumatized and said they had they had fitted 10 weaves from the package already adding that the particular batch of hair had sold very fast in less than a month she had sold over 150 pieces um, and this is quoted I am shocked to hear this because this is the first time such a thing is happening to my clients. I will get more information from my supplier because we import these weaves from the UK, the USA, and India, says the salon manager who did not want to be mentioned. She continued to say, maybe the supplier sent us rejects from the factory or weaves that had overstayed in the stores but I promise to follow up on the matter and compensate Irene. Now that was that was good. That really was good. I really 
yeah, that was good. Because normally, I mean, they'll just wash their hands of the matter too. But, I mean, that was the least that she could do. And they did. So, anyway. Irene had to shave after this ordeal and took antibiotics for two weeks. Dr. C.K. Musaw, a surgeon at Nairobi Hospital, says that he has dealt with more than 10 cases of the same in a period of six months. He further urges ladies to be very caref careful with what they put on their heads and adds that it is better to appreciate natural beauty and be content with what God has blessed them with instead of chasing artificial beauty. It is unfortunate how the West has influenced Kenyan youth, especially ladies. They should stick to their natural African beauty as opposed to trying to ape what they see, says Musaw. Dr. Musaw reiterated that the youth must keep in mind that of late, Kenyans can sell anything from body parts to human beings to used coffins and now even weaves that seem to come from corpses. Elsewhere, 16 year old, a 16 year old girl from Baruburu, a Nairobi suburb, also suffered the same fate, but unfortunately for her, she died. Cobweb eggs were found in her hair after she died. 